All right, so you're looking at Tuft & Needle, and you see that they have the original mattress and the mint. Which one should you get? It's exactly what I'm gonna be telling you about today. I'm gonna run through the pros and cons of each mattress, similarities, differences, construction differences, and telling you who should get one over the other, so stay tuned. Let's get started by talking about what's similar between these two mattresses. They're both all foam mattresses, have a pretty similar base layer. Their top layer is both adaptive foam, so it's a proprietary foam, so very similar there. Because of that, the general feel is gonna be pretty similar overall as well. It's actually about in the same firmness range. I think that the mint's gonna be a little bit softer, but I think some may disagree. So generally though, it's about in the same firmness range. I right, know about the similarities, but what are the differences? So with the mint, you're gonna get more out of the mattress. It's gonna be a better cover, 12 inches thick versus 10 inches thick. You're gonna get three layers versus two, so you're gonna have a transition layer. Um, you're gonna get better cooling as well. There's also gonna be added edge support. So you're gonna get more out of the mattress in general, but that's gonna come at the cost of a higher price. It's gonna be about $400 more for a queen compared to the original mattress. All right, let's talk about the construction of both mattresses and see what the differences are. Starting with the original, have a pretty thin cover and then three inches of a proprietary foam called adaptive foam, which is gonna be similar to the one in the mint mattress. Um, it kind of combines memory foam and latex-like quality, so it's gonna have good pressure relief. Uh, you're not gonna sink in too much. Uh, it's gonna also have good balance and be very responsive, so it's gonna be very easy to switch positions and you're not getting that feeling of getting stuck like you would if you had a memory foam mattress. Then you're gonna have seven inches of a support layer, which is a pretty standard base layer that you're gonna see in other all foam mattresses. Moving on to the mint now, you're gonna have a thicker mattress overall with three layers, a little bit more luxurious cover. Uh, that same adaptive foam that's in the um, original mattress, but it's gonna be a little bit softer overall. Then you're gonna have a transition layer and then a base layer overall. All right, so what does this mean and what are the key differences? So with the mint, you're gonna definitely get more out of the mattress. It's thicker overall, it has more layers, um, it has a transition layer, it has better cooling overall, and has better edge support. So if you're worried about sleeping towards the edge of the bed, not feeling like you're gonna fall off, definitely go with the mint in that case it has better edge support i would say having that transition layer is maybe better for side sleepers um, they have a pretty soft top layer and then you're not going to bottom out potentially the way you would on the original tough and needle it only has three inches of comfort material then hits a pretty firm base layer underneath that by having that transition layer it's going to make it a little bit easier to transition if you're on your side and feel a little bit more softness overall than you would with the original mattress so it's going to be thicker overall better cooling better edge support maybe better for side sleepers and those are the main differences overall. All right, let's talk about differences in firmness and feel. As far as firmness is concerned, I put the mint at about a six out of 10, the original about a six and a half out of 10. I think some may disagree with that, but just know that the firmness is in the general kind of same range overall. As far as feel is concerned, they both have a pretty similar feel overall as well. They both have that adaptive foam, which means it kind of combines uh, latex and memory foam like qualities. You're going to sink into the mattress, but not too much. So generally the feel is actually pretty similar overall as well. All right, now I'm gonna talk through how I feel in different sleeping positions on both mattresses. Starting on the original on my back, I feel very well supported, kind of conforms pretty well to the curves of my body and supports me overall. Uh, on the mint, I feel pretty similar actually, and I would say it's about a tie for me for back sleeping. Switching onto my side now, on the original, it has pretty good pressure relief. I do feel a hint of pressure. Um, on the mint, I actually feel a little bit better. It feels a little bit softer to me and relieves pressure a little bit better, so I'd probably prefer the mint for side sleeping. Switching onto my stomach now, the original is a pretty good match for me. Um, I would say maybe you want something just a little bit firmer, but um, a pretty good match for me overall. I would say the mint, I would definitely want something a little bit firmer, a little bit more supportive. For, so for stomach sleeping, I would probably prefer the original. In Mattress Clarity, we love our pressure map testing. Uh, it shows exactly how well every mattress relieves pressure. So I get down on the pressure map, lie down on my backside and stomach, and you see anywhere from blue to no pressure, all the way up to red to high pressure. What really matters is these side sleeping results. So if you throw those up here, you'll see that the Mint does just a tiny bit better job at relieving pressure. And that was kind of my experience overall as well. It was just a little bit softer for me and seemed to relieve pressure just a little bit better when I was on my side. So that's just something to know. Hey guys, Martin here to offer a different perspective. Joe's 5'9", 160, I'm 6'7", 230. I'm a larger person than Joe and I give my experience with these two mattresses. In terms of firmness, I said the Tuft & Needle was a six and a half out of 10. I thought the Mint was close to a seven out of 10. I'm a larger person, I'm pressing further into both these mattresses, especially into the Mint, feeling some more firmness than Joe did. Now, in terms of sleeping position, starting on the Tuft & Needle on my back, it's a little bit too soft for me, my hips sink in too far, I'm kind of just dropping into the mattress. Moving to my side, I am feeling some decent pressure relief on my shoulders and my hips. Moving to my stomach though is definitely not firm enough for me. I'm bowing at the hips. I'm getting out of alignment. 
Now moving over to the mint, I feel much better on my back. My hips don't sink in too far. Feeling some nice lumbar support as well. Very, very nice for back sleeping. But moving to my side, I'm feeling a little bit more pressure on my shoulders and my hips than I felt on the tuft and needle. Also moving to my stomach, not enough support there. So what does all that mean? I think if you're a heavier back sleeper, I would lean towards the mint. Heavier side sleeper like me, I personally preferred the tuft and needle. I think heavier stomach sleepers are probably gonna wanna look elsewhere. If you sleep with a partner, there's two additional things you're going to want to consider when looking at a mattress. That's motion transfer and edge support. Motion transfer is basically, if your partner's moving around that side of the bed, is that motion going to be isolated or transfer over to you and possibly wake up at night? Edge support is basically, can you sit or sleep towards the edge of the bed without feeling like it's going to fall off? Now, as far as motion transfer is concerned, I'll put it about a tie. They both have adaptive foam on top, and they do, both do a pretty good job at isolating motion. As far as edge support is concerned, the Mint definitely wins. It has an added edge support system. So the Tufted Needle Original doesn't have very good edge support overall, and they've really kind of addressed that with the Mint construction. So I would definitely give the advantage to the mint in this case. So you're probably thinking, Joe, this is all nice and good, but which one should I get? So let's talk about that for a second. All right, as far as who should get the mint, I think if you're a light or medium weight side sleeper, you definitely want to get the mint. It's just a little bit softer. It seems to relieve pressure just a little bit better. It's a more durable option as well. So if you're viewing this as a long-term investment, I'd probably go with the mint. That could potentially make it better for heavier sleepers overall as well. Uh, they have some extras with this mattress, so it's gonna sleep cooler and have better edge support. So if you are worried about sleeping hot, I might look at the mint. And if you like sleeping towards the edge of the bed, I might consider the mint as well. As far as who should get the original, basically if you just wanna save money, it does have a pretty similar firmness and feel overall, and you about save about $400 if you go with the original for a queen. So if you just wanna save money, go with the original. I think stomach sleepers probably wanna go with the original as well. It's a little bit firmer, has a less of a comfort layer as well. So I would probably go, if you're a stomach sleeper, to the original. Also, if you you want to sink into your mattress just a little bit less, I would probably go with the original. With the mint, it's just a little bit softer and has that transition layer, so I'd probably go with the original in that case. All right, hopefully I've given you a good overview of the similarities and differences between these two mattresses, and hopefully the choice is going to be pretty clear for you. If for some reason it's not, just leave a comment below, and I will get back to you as soon as I can. I can also give you a personal recommendation. Just leave a comment below, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And if you're just getting started on your mattress buying journey, definitely check out mattressclarity.com. If you want to see a full list of my top picks, simply Google Mattress Clarity Best Mattress. Once again, let me know if you have any questions.